He knew 2026 would be a year of change, but no one imagined it would be so soon that a battery would be able to turn the world of electric vehicles upside down. Tesla's new aluminum ion battery arrived, like one of those announcements that seemed too exaggerated to be true, until someone goes and tests it. And when people saw a car going from zero to 100% in just nine minutes, without smoke, without strange noises, without any sign of thermal stress, the feeling was like watching science fiction become reality in the garage. Curiosity only grew when engineers revealed the absurd 1.2 megawatt input, something so far above the competition that it seemed like a direct provocation. It was as if Elon had said, you want speed? Then hold on to this. Jules, what's most impressive is that all this power doesn't come from magic, but from a chemical change that's already being called the turning point for electric vehicles. Instead of the old lithium intermediary, Tesla opted for multi-electron chargers, a type of solution that seems complicated on paper, but in practice makes energy flow as if it were using an exclusive highway, without traffic, without delay, without loss. It's almost as if each aluminum ion carries three bags of energy where lithium only carried one, and this changes everything along the way between the charger and the motor. It's no exaggeration to say that this microscopic detail has opened the way for a macroscopic revolution. What's interesting is how this battery handles heat. Anyone who has ever fast charged a cell phone knows that heat is the enemy of any battery. Now, imagine that multiplied millions of times inside a car, but Tesla has found a way to keep the temperature below 40 30 surge, even while receiving an avalanche of energy. It's almost like watching an athlete running a marathon with a calm pulse. This thermal stability not only ensures safety, but also preserves the battery life and prevents the performance drop that so many electric car drivers have experienced. And speaking of stability, one of the things that stands out most is how the entire system seems to work in sync without the temperature variations that usually appear in traditional batteries. In regular cars, some cells heat up more than others, creating a silent chaos inside. But this aluminum battery seems coordinated like an orchestra. No out-of-rhythm notes, no sudden heat spikes. When the temperature remains uniform, the car responds better, the charge flows without interruption, and the driver's confidence increases. What makes it all the more intriguing is the contrast between simplicity and complexity. For the end user, it's just a matter of plugging in the car, waiting a few minutes, and that's it full tank. But behind that speed lie layers upon layers of ingenuity, such as new pathways for electrons, new methods of thermal insulation, and materials that look like something out of a spaceship. And honestly, it's exactly this kind of innovation that makes people look at a Tesla and think, these guys are really years ahead. Many people are saying that nine minutes is even frightening. After all, We've never seen anything like it in production cars. But deep down, that's precisely the essence of Tesla. To do first what other automakers only dare to discuss in internal meetings. It may seem too bold, but that's how technological leaps happen. The truth is, nobody asked for such a fast recharge until they saw how it completely changes the experience of driving an electric car. This is where the game completely changes levels. If the nine-minute recharge time already left many people speechless, the promise, and now reality, of 1,000 miles of real-world range sounds almost like deliberate exaggeration. But the data speaks for itself. The new aluminum-ion battery achieves an energy density of 580 toile duangs at the cellular level, something that not only doubles the density of the 4680, but also redefines the concept of long trip in the world of electric vehicles. And the craziest part? The entire pack weighs practically the same as the current one. No giant batteries or makeshift solutions to inflate lab numbers. It's real range on the road in everyday use. Anyone who drives an electric car knows that the range promised on paper doesn't always match reality. Headwinds, air conditioning, uphill driving, extra weight, everything interferes. 
But here, things change. The density remains high even after adding elements like cooling lines, thermal shielding, and the new honeycomb-shaped aluminum casing. Even with these details, the density only drops to about 420 Duadaliswijk at the module level. And that, for anyone with even a basic understanding of batteries, is an absurd level of efficiency. There's nothing on the market, not even in the most optimistic competitor labs, that comes close to this in real-world production. Another surprising point is how stable this range remains even under harsh weather conditions. The battery discharge efficiency remains between 92% and 95% even at 15 degrees C. For those living in Canada, Northern Europe, or even cold regions of the USA, this is practically a miracle. With traditional lithium batteries, the cold becomes the enemy. The car loses range, takes longer to charge, and sometimes even refuses to function properly. Here, the scenario is different. The car doesn't become temperamental in winter. It starts, runs, and delivers what it promises. And that changes everything when it comes to trusting the vehicle as primary transportation. Beyond thermal efficiency, there's something very clever behind the battery design. It doesn't rely on volume to deliver more range. With lithium, if you want more range, you need to cram in more cells, more active material, more weight. This makes the car heavier, more expensive, and less efficient. With Tesla's aluminum ion battery, this doesn't happen. Because each ion can move up to three electrons per cycle, the same volume delivers much more energy. It's as if the tank were the same size, but with three times more powerful fuel. And this translates into better performance, stronger acceleration, and fewer stops along the way. For many people, including fleet owners and professional drivers, this 1,000-mile range represents the end of an old problem, charging anxiety. Even those who drive long distances daily can now complete the entire week without even looking at the charging cable. This is a game changer, especially in regions where charging infrastructure is still limited. With this battery, it's no longer necessary to plan the trip based on charging stations. The driver regains control of the route and is no longer held hostage by the station map. And the impact of this goes beyond comfort. A car with such range and such lightweight opens doors to applications that were previously unfeasible. Imagine delivery vehicles crossing states non-stop, or electric school buses that run for days without needing to recharge. Not to mention cars for rural use or in remote areas, where the nearest charging point might be many kilometers away. Real-world range isn't just a matter of technological prestige. It's a practical solution to a very real and long-standing problem in the electric vehicle world. When people talk about incredible range and nine-minute recharges, most immediately think of the same question. That must destroy the battery's lifespan, right? But here, the opposite is true. The new aluminum ion cell was designed to last, and it's no exaggeration to say that it completely redefines the concept of longevity in the automotive sector. We're talking about 9,000 complete cycles with over 80% retention, something that seemed impossible even for the latest generation of lithium batteries. To put it simply, if someone charged their car every day from zero to 100%, that would be equivalent to more than 9 million miles. It's almost as if the battery has a life of its own, continuing long after the car stops running. The curious thing is that this longevity isn't an optimistic promise or an inflated calculation. It comes from structural characteristics of aluminum ion chemistry that prevent what destroys lithium batteries over time. Microfractures, dendrites, thermal instability, and loss of efficiency in rapid cycles. Because aluminum ions don't need to squeeze between layers like lithium does, they don't deform the cell's internal structure. This means that, cycle after cycle, the inner walls remain intact without microscopic cracks or accumulated wear. It's something so rare in the world of batteries that many experts are calling this technology the first truly aggressive 
degradation-free solution. And the most interesting thing is that the slow degradation doesn't interfere with performance. In conventional batteries, even before reaching critical levels, the driver already feels the car losing power, taking longer to charge and delivering less range. With Tesla's aluminum ion battery, this doesn't happen. Even after years of intense use, the feeling is practically the same as on the first day. The battery delivers current in a stable manner, doesn't lose power in high demand situations, and maintains a balanced energy response. It's like having a car that ages on the outside, but on the inside continues to function like new. This incredible durability also eliminates one of the biggest fears many people still have about switching from a combustion engine car to an electric one, the fear of the final bill. Replacing a lithium battery can be expensive, so expensive that in some cases it's not even worth it. But with a battery designed to outlast the vehicle's lifespan, that fear simply disappears. The car can run hundreds of thousands of kilometers, be passed on to another owner, then another, and the battery remains there, strong, functioning, as if it were just starting out. This completely changes the perception of cost-benefit, and there's a very interesting detail that many people don't immediately realize. This battery doesn't die when the car dies. After years of speeding on the roads, it can still be used as stationary storage. This means that when it no longer makes sense to keep the battery in the vehicle, it can be installed in home backup systems, backup batteries for solar power plants, or even buffer units for ultra-fast charging. It's as if it has two lives, the first on the road, the second in the electrical grid. And considering that the second life can last another decade, the environmental and economic impact of this is enormous. Another point that shows how robust this technology is, is its behavior in extreme conditions. Aluminum ion practically ignores what has always been lithium's biggest enemy, cold. Even at 15 degrees C, the cell maintains 92% to 95% discharge efficiency, something that simply doesn't exist in traditional batteries. For those who live in cold regions, this means that the range doesn't plummet and the car doesn't become sluggish in the morning. And since the battery doesn't suffer from internal expansion and contraction, temperature-related wear is also minimal, further reinforcing its durability. This is where many people are surprised, because even with so much power, absurd capacity, and impressive lifespan, Tesla's battery still holds a trump card that few have noticed. A cooling system so efficient and refined that it seems like something out of aeronautical engineering. And in fact, part of the inspiration did come from the Cybertruck and the concept of a stainless steel backbone. But in the case of the aluminum ion battery, Tesla went a step further, using a micro-channeled aluminum plate with 18,000 parallel capillaries. That's right, 18,000 tiny channels where the coolant circulates with almost surgical precision. The result? is thermal stability never before seen in electric car batteries. During the most intense loads, even when the system is receiving more than one megawatt of power, the temperature between the modules varies by a maximum of 2 d to ATs. This is impressive because it avoids the dreaded hot spots that usually accelerate the degradation of individual cells. Here, energy flows smoothly and evenly like a river flowing calmly through various channels. There is no heat buildup, no thermal shock. The entire system functions like a balanced organism, where each cell is protected by the same temperature. Another direct benefit of this architecture is the ability to charge faster without the risk of overheating. In traditional batteries, fast charging needs to be interrupted or limited after a few minutes because the internal heat starts to get out of control. In Tesla's new system, this doesn't happen. The capillaries work constantly, draining heat while it's still forming and keeping temperatures below 40 theta degrees six, even at the most extreme peaks. That's why the car can go from zero order to 80% in five minutes with the same ease as charging a laptop. And there's more. Aluminum wasn't chosen solely for its abundance or lightness. 
It has a much higher thermal conductivity than steel and other materials used in conventional batteries. This means that the heat generated inside a cell spreads more quickly through the plate and is dissipated more efficiently. And the less time the heat remains concentrated, the lower the risk of internal deformations, accumulated gases, or electrochemical failures. It's as if each cell had its own built-in air conditioner, but without needing extra parts, extra weight, or additional energy consumption. This thermal uniformity also has another very positive side effect, performance synchronization. In other words, all the cells work more similarly, with fewer individual variations in charge, voltage, or response. This improves the efficiency of the pack as a whole and avoids situations where some cells deplete before others. And of course, this also helps during recharging because the system doesn't need to compensate for internal imbalances, which speeds up the process and reduces long-term wear. And don't think that this entire system is fragile or delicate. Tesla's architecture was designed to withstand impacts, vibrations, and even external temperature variations without compromising the internal flow of the capillaries. Even on uneven terrain or in extreme environments, the cooling system maintains its integrity. And because it's integrated into the battery structure, this also reinforces the entire system. The car becomes safer, more robust, and more reliable. Essential for anyone who wants to put one of these vehicles on the road every day, rain or shine, Many people were amazed by the new battery. But the burning question is, how does Tesla intend to manufacture all of this on a global scale? Because it's one thing to make a beautiful prototype in the lab, quite another to put millions of units on the market without losing quality. The answer is surprising. While the world was still debating solid-state cells and lithium upgrades, Tesla was quietly building a new generation of production lines in its gigafactories in Texas and Nevada. But these aren't ordinary lines. They are lines optimized for the impossible, producing aluminum ion as if it were as simple as printing paper. The secret begins with the manufacturing process. Instead of using traditional rolling or stacking machines, Tesla switched to large-scale continuous deposition lines, similar to those seen in the aerospace industry. These are rolls over 80 meters long where the aluminum anode is molded into a continuous film without seams or stitching. This process guarantees 12% higher conductivity than traditional methods and, as a bonus, eliminates the microscopic weak points that usually cause cell failures. The result? Greater efficiency, fewer defects, and greater long-term stability. The speed is also impressive. While conventional 4680 lines reach peak outputs of 18 GW per production block, Tesla's new aluminum ion lines are designed to achieve between 30 and 34 GW using virtually the same physical space. This is only possible because of the extremely fast deposition time, with aluminum films being applied at 900 mm press which is almost four times faster than the lithium process, which ranges between 200 and 250 millimeters. In short, the line doesn't choke. It simply flows. And this solves two of the biggest bottlenecks in current factories, drying ovens and slurry mixers. Because aluminum ions don't require the same preparation steps as lithium, Tesla cuts time and energy, saves space, and accelerates the production flow. It's a lighter, faster, smarter factory. And this kind of agility makes all the difference when you think about serving not thousands, but millions of vehicles per year. It's the kind of structure that transforms a good idea into market dominance. And anyone who understands industry knows that this is the hardest part of any innovation. Another detail is the modularity of these new lines. Tesla can replicate them in new units quickly,